Hey everyone! This week, we welcome What Remains of Edith Finch to the Unreal Marketplace Collection. Following the content releases for Paragon and Infinity Blade, we are excited to announce our partnership with Giant Sparrow and Annapurna Interactive as the first in a series of new free content coming to the marketplace from teams across the community. This exclusive collection features over 3,000 stylized environment models, props, materials, and more from the BAFTA award-winning title. Download all 10 packs from the marketplace today. Are you ready to jam? The 2020 Epic Mega Jam is coming to a computer near you on Friday, December 4th with a special live stream to kick off the festivities. The week-long game jam features new modifier categories such as Genre Bash and Procedural Magicians and generous prizes from Falcon Northwest, Intel, Microsoft, and more. Pop over to the official 2020 Epic Mega Jam itch.io page to see the full list of prizes, contest details, and get signed up. This week, we hosted Unreal Build Virtual Production, featuring speakers and industry pioneers from across film and television. If you missed the live show or would like to watch the magic over again, head to the Unreal Engine YouTube channel for panels and sessions with Academy Award-winning director Robert Zemeckis, VFX supervisor Kevin Bailey, Epic Games' Connie Kennedy, The Mandalorian art director Andrew Jones, and more. And in the middle of all that, we're celebrating the arrival of next-gen consoles with Microsoft's Xbox Series X and S and the Sony PlayStation 5. Hear from Ember Labs' Mike Greer, Chump Squad's Gwen Frey, and Epic Games' Zach Parrish as they share their perspective on the future of game development with game journalist Brian Crescente on The Pulse, now on our YouTube channel. Discover how Geist AB is helping Swedish auto manufacturer Scania improve performance and safety in everything from AI parking systems to advanced features for timber truck drivers. In the spotlight, read more about how real-time simulations are testing HMI prototypes for new and existing generations of heavy vehicles. And next week, visit with the Unreal team at our virtual booth during Autodesk University, a totally free online event. Prepare your questions as you'll have a chance to pick an epic brain at the show. Head over to the Unreal Engine feed to find out about the sessions we'll be participating in and then register to attend. And now to give a shout out to this week's top karma earners. Every Nun, Lozier Yan, Detach789, Clockwork Ocean, Shadow River, Tisumi Saki, Arakli, Mighty Enigma, Evil Cleric, and Ben Vladke. The first spotlight this week is a peaceful scene called the Shrine of the Lost Children, created by Vincent Letang. Inspired by shrines throughout Japan, this beautiful scene is Letang's first environment in Unreal Engine. Head over to their ArtStation page and share your feedback. We'd also like to introduce you to the YouTube series Make Games with Katie. Katie is creating easy-to-understand tutorials for new Unreal creators. If you're just getting started or have friends who are, make sure to check out Katie's YouTube channel. Check that out before you go and see if there's anything that looks interesting there for you to try to expand what you learned today. Last up, explore a massive open world in Mortal Online 2, the sequel to Star Vault's first-person sandbox MMORPG. Follow your own path, but danger lurks around every corner in this fully PvP world check out Mortal Online 2 on Steam. That's all for this week. With the arrival of Next Gen, which Unreal-powered game are you excited to play first?